A new state law went into effect this summer, allowing law enforcement to designate those zones during events like the Florida Classic. In this case, along Colonial Drive from Hiawassee Road to Tampa Avenue, and on John Young Parkway from J.D. Judge Drive to the 408. News 6's Mark Lehman is there tonight taking a closer look. A busy night for law enforcement with streets jam packed as the Florida Classic wrapped up. Orange County's special events zone going into effect for the first time and put to the test tonight. For hours, some of the busiest streets in Orlando saw gridlock from the Florida Classic. You got to go through the, the back roads if you're from here, but if you're not, you're going to get caught up in the traffic. But the biggest concern for deputies is keeping everyone safe. That's why the sheriff's office is using the state's new special event zone law for the first time. The designation allowing law enforcement to double fines and even impound vehicles for unpermitted activities that impact the flow of traffic during temporary events. It's working, you know what I'm saying, to keep people protected. I like that they, they are doing that. The measure designed to provide a safer environment, which is what Mayor Jerry Demings told us on Friday. There's a lot of economic activity that goes on around the stadium that uh, creates uh, pedestrian and vehicular traffic flow. And as deputies have been out in force, those who live nearby said they're watching to see what happens next. I feel like it is right, you know what I'm saying, that they are doing it, but uh, which it is working. But at the same time, like again, it's, it's a cultural thing. So it's like, I don't know how can you stop something that's been, you know what I'm saying, going on for years. But. Going forward, the big questions are just how effective was a special event zone designation and how many punishments were handed down. That's something we're asking deputies. We'll keep you updated with what we learn. In Orange County, Mark Lehman, Getting Results, News 6.